Today, the objective is simple. Play on every Black Ops 6 map and then rank them individually on a tier list. Will any of them be better than Nuketown Raider Firing Range? Let's find out. Oh, baby, baby. It's time for Warhead. Now, as you can see right there, Warhead is in Nevada. And a lot of people, including myself, when they showed the map list, people thought that this was going to be the Nuketown version in, in Black Ops 6. They came out right away and they said, no, 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 it is not Nuketown. This is, this is its own map. And it is a mosh pit map. Oh my gosh, I thought it was cooking there. I know it's a little bit different, but if you played Blackout and Black Ops 4, they had one of the POIs was the map that was, it was like after the explosion. So I think, but they had the same vibe of like after the nuke went off. And I, I really like that premise. Um, I wish that they would, they would kind of dive into that more, but I'm trying to give you a, a decent view of it while we're playing. Again, this is a mosh pit playlist. So it is going to be absolutely just action packed bada bing bada boom look at the look at the nuke right there i just saw that oh i love that so if you're playing this game to, if you're playing this map for your kd and you're going i'm gonna improve my kd that that's probably a really really bad idea by the way because your kd will be going very down unless you get unless you camp your kd is gonna be bad in this map i gotta get this guy that's good. Okay, so this spot right here seems to be the... Oh, this is power. Oh, this is power. Oh, this is power. All right, let's get one more and then we'll... And then I think that's plenty showcase. See if I can get them from up top here. There we go. It, this is Warhead. It's a mosh pit game. You're not going to be playing this for, you know, high... It's going to be tough to get high streaks unless you get to that other building. Again, I like the premise. I like the saturation. It's hectic, it's a mess, it's Nuketown. I I don't mind it. I'm not gonna put it at A, even though Nuketown is an A. It's a little bit different, the flow's a little bit different. This is sad, but Warhead, I love the layout and the feel. I'm dropping it down to a C. I'm dropping it down to a C. Okay, we have entered into Vault, a, uh, a map for the regular rotation. This guy is head glitching me. This is the greatest opening player I've ever seen in a start of a video. My gosh. So this is actually uh, another one of them. I would say this is a medium-sized map for these guys, for Treyarch. Now, if you've ever seen Mirage Black Ops 2, it was a DLC map. Some of you probably never played it before, but it was a pretty solid map. I, I, they had a lot of solid maps in BO2. This is the exact feel of it. It is kind of wild. It's got the sandy vibe, overseas vibe. I'm just getting absolutely torched. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're finding it. But I really get the, the the vibe of Mirage from BO2 with this. It's kind of crazy. And again, these are these maps. I, I don't. I play this and I'm like, what are what are the issues with these maps? Again, a lot of the people on the internet are complaining about BO, BO6 maps. I'm really enjoying them. I mean, of course there are some bad ones. AKA, that's the greatest player I've ever seen. He ducks every shot I take. By the way, guys. If you guys get into this far in the video, let me know what guns you guys are using in the comments because I really... Oh, look. The map's called Vault, and here's the Vault. How great is that? Woo! A little jump up spot there. Oh. Okay, wait a second. XM4 is cooking, question mark? That's actually a really, really good spot. I don't think anybody's quite gotten used to that little jump up spot there. I have no problem with this map. Let's get one more here and then we can rank it. I think you guys have seen plenty of it. An ego chow. Be wild, wouldn't it? Okay, now let's rank it. Okay, it wasn't my best performance, but that's okay. You guys didn't see me die a bunch. You know, that's the best thing about editing. But Vault, I'm gonna say it. I think it's a B tier map. I think it's a really fun map. It reminds me of Black Ops 2. I don't know what it is about it. It's, I'm telling you, if you were to see side by side of this map Mirage and this map, if you didn't experience that back in the day, it literally is the exact same thing. It, it feels like they took it and kind of switched around a few things and made it into a vault. And I loved Mirage back in the day. All righty, another Babylon, or sorry, not another Babylon, another beta map, call it Babylon. 
This map, to me, this map feels smaller than Nuketown. I'm not even trolling. Like, there is angles just about everywhere. You are going to find action in tents. Do not come into this thing thinking you're going to be uh, dropping nukes unless you get a Botavius lobby. But again, I really, really do like these maps. I enjoyed the beta maps. I, I, I don't know why. Now, the spawns in the beta were some of the worst I maybe have ever seen. But it was still fun nonetheless. I feel like when I play these maps, I think to myself like, okay, it's a very tight, tight map. Like I should use an, a or an SMG. And I find myself kind of posting up in spots and then getting AR kills. As you can see, if you find these little, you know, spots, you can kind of cook. And I, and that's what I'm, I'm learning about this game. Like, don't, don't always think you need to get that SMG out. Like, that's what I would say. But the middle, you can kind of chill in here and hang out if you want to. People will walk past you 100% because they'll just go sprint to the other side in the steps. And it's kind of funny. Just ignore me. J just ignore me. That, that normally works. I really need to get stims. I keep saying I need to get stims. That guy is shooting a rocket launcher. He must be going for camos. I got to give him credit. We just got collided. Okay, I think that's... I think... I, I think we go rank it now. All right, so uh, Babylon. Man, I'll tell you what. I just really enjoy this map. I, don't, I just like... I like small maps. I think that's also a, a thing with me. So it's like... You know, you might be a little biased towards if, if they were all larger maps. Like, I'm thinking back to some maps in World at War and, like, Black Ops 1 that... I mean, dude, there were maps that you never voted because they were so big. Um, and I just feel like all these are enjoyable to play. It's uh, Listen, if you get on Black Ops 6, you got to be ready to grind and get after because they're all right in your face maps. So, I'm going to put this at B. I, I really am. I, it was one of the maps that I really remembered from the beta. Again, in your mind, do not think that this is going to be a map where you're chilling. Expect gunfights. B. Guys, I'm really scared right now. This is derelict. This was also a beta map. I have tried filming this map. This is my third time. I have just had such an unenjoyable experience on this map. I don't know what it is about this map. I really don't. It's small. It's high intensity. There's gunfights everywhere. I don't know what it is. I cannot, I have not had a good game on this on this map yet. I just feel like there is something off. I don't know if I'm getting old. I don't know what's going on. I can't see on this map to save my life. I actually uh, was, this was another map I gave feedback on and I don't think that anything changed from the beta. This map has an in intense amount of foliage and an intense amount of head glitches and this area over here that i just died from is one of the worst in the map this is a live reaction this is what happens when you play this map for me they go hey t you having fun enjoying black ops 6 okay here's derelict and i go okay i want to sign off for the rest of the year i can't i can't do it i don't know where to look there's so many spots to camp there's so many head glitches on it. I'm, I'm sorry for raging, but I just have to give you my honest feedback on this map. I do not like it. I think this is plenty good for me. I, I, I think you've seen this. You've probably seen this map a thousand times. I would prefer never to play it again, to be honest with you. This is up there with red card for me. I know this is kind of a live, uh, what kind of live talk? Okay. Okay. Guys, Derelict, I'm sorry. I've tried to film that map three times. I've hated it every single time. I didn't like it in the beta. I gave feedback that it was like, there, there's too much mush. Like there's too much to look at. Too many head glitches. Uh, th that is frustrating to play that map. And I don't ever want to be frustrated playing Call of Duty. There is, there is, there is normal frustration. But then there's frustration like that. Where, sure, I, you, could, you could chalk that up to skill-based matchmaking and I'm getting pooped on. But that one, it's three times in a row. Three times in a row ago, that's, that's just not a map I like. I'm putting that down at F. I'm going to say it. I do not like that map at all. Well, it's another mosh pit map, ladies and gentlemen. So get yourselves ready. This is Gala. This is also another campaign map. Uh, this is where you're at the Bill Clinton kind of... I don't even know what you want to call it. Bill Clinton um, 
rally or something i mean gala would probably be the the right proper answer for that actually um and then you have like a it's, it's a very secretive you know type of mission which dude i love when call of duty has those type of missions honestly um kind of the kind of like a 007 vibe and i thought that this um this map was really fun to play also in uh, at cod next this was one of the maps we got to play i don't know if this ever went on the beta but we got to experience it pretty early and i really really enjoyed it i kind of wish you see what i'm saying with this thing i know i'm missing the shots a little bit but my gosh i really wish that the, some of these maps weren't so small and that like they extended these ones out a little bit more but hey it's it's still a great map anyway this is probably one of those it, it feels like a kind of a version of nuketown with you know these two sides the middle spot you know it, it, it's very nuketown ish for me at least my gosh this is actually maybe my best game of all of these so far there's not really much to show with these strike maps you, you, you get them very very quickly the middle is definitely a power position you can go underneath here which i'll try to get here real quick you can hold these most people are probably going to go up top though let's be real except for that guy he he he, he took he took the wrong round unfortunately but yeah that's god let's let's go rated i i enjoy this map like i said mosh pit you're never going to come into this thing going wow this is so great that you know i do think the map is great but i'm saying you're not going into it like a normal tdm match these are quick games that are going to last like five minutes um just because of how small the maps are but in the in that case i think this is an a map the saturation is crazy the layout is crazy again you know i'm a sucker for maps that are a part of the campaign and you're like oh i went around here and did this in the campaign and now it's a multiplayer map i think this is a i really do um and i'm okay with that opinion i don't think it's i don't, actually don't think it's a very unpopular opinion or i would have said that i think a lot of you will, will will i think you'll agree with me okay folks it is time for low town now this one's a bit interesting i played this a little bit yesterday for search and destroy got a couple reps in with it the water is really what's throwing me off of this map it's actually a larger map i would say medium sized um but it's it's another one of those maps with a lot to look at and i don't really know sometimes where i'm at with it we'll get used to it over time but there's a lot of spots like this where you are just kind of looking all over the place and it's a I, I you know what i gotta be honest with you with maps in general i'm not a big fan of water i i, I get the fact um that they're trying to add like a new kind of flavor to the game with water but boy do i not care for it Ooh, yeah. uh oh hello how are you um i feel like I legitimately did not know that this was here. We are discovering this for the first time. So you can go under the map over here. So there's some flanking routes, which is good. So this one, I, I've got to be honest with you. I have not found it to click with me yet. I will say like there's this is definitely a medium sized map. As you can see, we're all the way over here. But I will say it probably played it played a little bit better on search and destroy. But when you have a game mode where you can like camp like team deathmatch, like this guy imagine running into that it's just not fun so i'm gonna be honest with you this one's definitely gonna have to grow on me hopefully it does but right now it is far from doing that is there somebody back here see what i'm saying like this is the kind of stuff i don't like i i turn a corner and there's all this and this is the back part of the map this isn't even like this isn't even like the meat and potatoes of the map like over here too is is hold on there was a guy here right wasn't there he up here See, that guy has no idea where he's going either so i don't know let's let's get one more I'm going i'm pushing that's good Wait, are we hot? Are we hot on low town? Are we hot on? And you can't shoot underwater except for a pistol. 
this stupid modern warfare mechanic. All right, guys, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of Low Town. Um, very discombobulated, a lot to look at. Too much clutter, in my opinion. I do like the size of the map. Um, if I think an improvement would be able to shoot underwater, I know this is crazy, but you were able to shoot underwater in Black Ops 3. I don't know why you were like they stopped doing that. I get you can do it with a pistol, but I think that would make this game unique too. This map unique if you could if you could shoot underwater as well. So I gotta put Low Town in like D. I am not the biggest fan of Low Town. Um, the cleaner the map, the better the map for me. And this is not that. Oh, baby, baby, baby. It's payback time. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, but if you played the campaign, this is pretty much the safe house in the campaign. And honestly, I'm really glad that they made it a map. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, but one of my favorite things about the older CODs was the maps that were included. Like I'm thinking of World at War and all that stuff. It was all kind of based around campaign and and zombies. I just think that I miss when the maps kind of all connected. I don't know if that really makes sense. I really like the premise of this map. I like the 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 vibe of it. It's vibrant, which is again something we've been missing with maps here lately. Is just let's get some vibrant maps, you know? I have a little sheet here that uh tells me how this map is compared to Newtown size-wise. So, the so payback is actually 39% smaller than Nuketown. Now, this says that could be wrong. Uh, for me to see, to see this being 39% smaller than Nuketown, I don't know about that. But I'm rocking this C9 while I'm playing too, guys. I don't, I am loving this thing. No! But I just kind of want to show you a little, you know, bits and pieces of it. Obviously, you know, I feel like the maps are a very important part of COD. So if they're bad, we're chalk. But all this is like, all this is accessible in the campaign. What the heck was that? Ooh, is there a little underground passage here? Ooh, oh yeah. So the little board where you pick the uh, campaign missions. Again, I'm giving you a little spoiler, but see if there's any more. I mean, I love the hit markers in this game. It is so clean sounding. All right, let's get one more. He's spawning right in front of me. Maybe it is the same thing as Nuketown because I got people spawning right in front of me. This is a pretty clean spot. Oh, I didn't even get that kill. That's crazy. Cool. All right, let, let's go rank this map. Okay, payback again. Like I said in the in the uh, the commentary there, this map was the hideout, the base operations in the campaign love the premise of that absolutely love the premise um i think the map flows well it's high intensity high action which again i'm gonna probably tell you in in all these like hey is it high intensity or is it kind of chill i'm gonna be a spoiler alert most of these are gonna be high intensity just a heads up but i like it i like the concept i really like that they bring campaign missions into multiplayer maps like they used to do back in old cods this may sound crazy i think this is a b map for me, it's not like a next level iconic, but I think you'll remember it because of the fact that it ties in with campaign. You're also going to be playing it a bunch of multiplayer kind of, you know, it just, it, it's, I like it. I like it. It is time for Verkuta. And this map, I'm going to be honest with you, it initially reminded me of WMD. This is probably a medium sized map, I would say. This is obviously referencing Verkuta Black Ops 1. And also in this campaign as well, by the way, this campaign mission, I am not gonna lie, it was my least favorite by far. Could not stand it. I don't know what it was. Something about the stealth open world missions in this game and like what they're trying to push, I just do not care for. And it, I mean, here's the thing. It's really cool that they decided to finally make this a map. I'm actually surprised that this was never a map in like Black Ops 1 DLC. When you come to think about it, it's like, wow, this is such a, a massive part of that game. Um, I've played this a couple times. This is a real big power position, I feel like. You kind of you kind of can see the whole map. You just have to watch people, you know, sneaking down below, getting behind you. But overall, I, I, I don't mind this map. I think this is probably 
a map that I could definitely see myself getting used to and enjoying over time. I would say in the beginning here, I did not have the, the best impressions of it. I knew they were gonna come behind me. This is what I'm saying. You gotta watch, you gotta watch people coming from your, come from, I feel like they should be back here, but they're not. Oh, they are back here. I was gonna say, I feel like they should be back here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, again, really big power position here. Oh my gosh. If I die here, I'm the worst Call of Duty player of all time. Like, no joke. But let me get one more. I think you've kind of seen, I think you've kind of seen this for what it is. Also, make sure you play the campaign. Again, I do like that. I like that they're bringing in campaign missions, campaign maps into multiplayer. That was always my favorite thing about World at War and these earlier CODs. One more good one. I think we can just rank it. Vorkuta. Um, I like the snow. I like the premise. I like that it's a campaign mission. I like that they did a little callback to Black Ops 1 with this one. Um, I think it's a mid-tier map. I, I'm not going to put it at B. This might be our first C-tier map. I think it's dead in the middle. Fun. Not the greatest. Definitely not the worst. So it just kind of hovers in that C-tier. Like, I, 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 I don't... I don't like it like I, I like some of these B-tier maps. So I'm gonna put it at C. Okay, we are in Verkuda again, this time um, in the pit, AKA uh, kind of where Reznov did his thing in the Black Ops 1 campaign. And as you can see, I just spawned in and there's about a 700 people in my face. Get there. But this guy's, this map has a bunch of spots where you can kind of get up top, have a, have a kind of vantage point of the entire map. And honestly, this is a sneaky spot down here. I'm going to jump down here. And oh, you can kind of cook in this map. I'm not going to lie. This C9. I feel like sometimes it hits and sometimes it doesn't for me. But I feel like if you're going to play the pit, you got to get up here. This is like where you want to be. It's just, does the C9 have the oomph to do it? And right now the answer is no. These, these mosh pit maps are just so hectic. I saw his shadow and almost shot a shadow. That is insane. You just kind of got the, if you, if you get the right routes and kind of get into a little rhythm, it's good, but you have to get into the right rhythm. And as you can tell, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Also, most people don't really vote these maps. This map does not get voted. The, the, the knockoff Nuketown gets voted a lot. And I would say Gala gets voted the most. I feel like people skip stakeout and they, and they skip this one. This one's not bad. I like the premise of it, but I, I don't know. It's just so small. It's so small. Victory though. That's good news. All right, guys. I mean, hey, like I said, the pit is the pit. It literally is just one big cluster of mess and you get what you get. Again, this is probably a good map to just get your XP up, get your camos grinding. Like the Verkuda mentioned, I'm going to go see on this one. I think it's like a very mid map like the concept mid map next up we have the map protocol now if you were doing the training course in the beginning of the game and you were trying to get used to the movement trying to get used to all that you may recognize this map because that why do i keep getting stunned off rip like i'm legitimately getting stunned or i can't even see in real life but this is kind of like the training ground as you can see 2.89 times larger than Nuketown. And I would probably say they probably place this map in the medium category. I believe there was only like two medium maps in the game, which is kind of crazy, but there, I, I don't know, man. I think, uh, hey buddy, <laughs> can I go up? We got a little zip line action. I actually kind of enjoy this map. I don't know. People are complaining a lot about the maps in this game. And I don't know really, maybe I'm just missing something. Because now are these maps gonna blow your socks off? I, I would say no. But as you can see, even with the map that they say is, you know, a good bit larger than Nuketown, you're getting into gunfights quick. And I think that's really what Treyarch put an emphasis on this year is, okay, people wanna get after it. People wanna, people wanna fight. People don't wanna just sit very fun and there's another i actually want to take you to this lighthouse there's like a little yeah so like the b bomb is like right 
here. I think it's B or maybe it's A, but it doesn't really matter. But it, it, it kind of gives you a couple angles to play through and you can you can go through there. You can go through here. The zip line over here, the ladder. So there's many ways to outplay people, but the action is still, you know. That guy just got pooped on. And again, it doesn't lose its saturation though. I think sometimes when people do rainy maps, they kind of get ruined and they kind of get like dull to look at and people just don't like that. But again, flow is there. Oh, please. I can't. Okay. All right, let's go rank the map. I just got pooped on. Protocol. I'm going to say it again, guys. I don't know if, if I'm just a Treyarch fanboy, but I think this map has a good flow too. Great three lanes. Got a little diversity with, you know, ladders and the zip or not zip line. Whatever you call that thing is that you go up and down. Um, and again, it ties into the other segments of the game with it being the training course. So it's got that familiarity. It kind of ties something to it. I'm just a big fan of when games do this. I, I really like that. Um, and again, a little bit of a, a, a larger size map, larger in quotations here, but still heavy, intense action. And at the end of the day, are we playing Call of Duty for camping and walking around and getting three kills a game? No, we want to do that. We'll go play Battlefield. Sorry, guys. But um, so I'm going to go. I, I think it's another B. I really do. Like, I, I'm enjoying this map. There's no reason for me to not like it. I think, you know, it's it's not... Again, I'm putting B maps in, like, they're solid. Are you going to remember this map for the rest of your life? I don't know. We'll have to see how the time plays on. But they're but they're solid maps. Are they a raid? Are they a nuke town? Are they a fire injury? Like, holy crap, this is amazing. I don't think that, that this is. But it's solid. Go to B. Well, this map is called Red Card. And uh, I'm going to give you a little teaser. I wish I could give this map itself a red card. Um, you've probably been seeing all over the internet. Most people dislike this map a lot. Now, the sad part is it's got a decent little like feel to it. But as you can tell early on, there is so many places to look. It's kind of insane. Like, I want to say this in the nicest way possible. This feels like an Infinity Ward map. I can't even get up there. He's down here now. I'm telling you guys, this map has so many places to look. We will play this map for a little bit, showcase a little bit. Again, it's a really cool premise. It actually reminds me of Stadium from Verdansk. But the problem is you walk into a building. There's a window here. There's a door there. There's an up spot here. It is the craziest thing I've ever seen. It is, it's gotta be one of the maps designed by Treyarch that I've honestly been confused and asking myself, did they actually design it? I'm not even trolling when I say that. It just feels like if they could condense it to three lanes, because I don't think three lanes are happening in this map. Look at this. We're, we're up here. We're over here. We're over there. I mean, the people quit. Yeah, I mean, there's people quitting. It feels like a Modern Warfare 19 map. If you guys played Modern Warfare 19, they they had no real flow to them. Um, Infinity Ward has said that they, they prefer, like, kind of... They don't have to do three lane maps is pretty much what they said. And three lane maps, I, I keep saying that terminology... It's pretty much how it sounds. There's three lanes, you know? I think that's very important. Okay. I think we can rank this. It's going to... We're just going to keep losing people, and it'll end up being a two-on-two. -two. All right, guys. Red card. Red card has been placed. Treyarch, this is by far your worst map. Probably one of the worst maps you've made in a long time, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say that if you guys are watching. Um, something is up with it. Whether it's the structure, whether there's too many places to look. I don't know. I don't know. But it's just not a good map. And um, unfortunately, it's going to be our first F. And it's it's down there for sure. I mean, listen, I'm not the only one saying it. Check the internet. The game that I was just playing, there was four people that quit. I don't know what you want me to say, guys. It's an F. Well, here we are on another beta map. Rewind, a.k.a. Just a beautiful memory of Blockbuster, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I miss Blockbuster. That has really nothing to do with this video. But man, just something about going and getting a game and or a DVD back in the day and, and getting some popcorn and... 
that guy just got absolutely demolished. But like I said, this game or this map was in the beta. Honestly, kind of a weird structured map, I feel like. Like it's three lanes, but obviously we have this area where there is, uh, you know, the this action here inside the video game store. But it, like I said, it's three lanes, but it's like this. It's like a sideways three lanes. I don't even know how to describe it. The map. Can I see the map layout? It's it's like an L. When I first played it, I was like, eh. And it's still kind of like that for me. Oh my gosh, I didn't know who to shoot. There was like four people there. It's still kind of like that for me. I play it and I kind of get confused with the layout. And I even gave feedback to them because um, I got asked by a Treyarch dev, like I said, um, to to kind of give them feedback on some of the maps. And I felt like this map was just too kind of, I don't know if this is the right terminology, but too deep AO. Like it feels like you go too far back left and right and you don't need to. Like they could trim half of this map, like the bottom sections of each. But again, that would probably make this a really small map. I will say the premise of this map is kind of cool with the, with the, you know, the old school video game rental spot. I, I like the vibe of it. The vibe is is good. The layout is what gets me kind of twisted. I don't want to spend too much time on here on this map. I will say there is one spot that I want to show you guys. This is something, if I can get there, hopefully I can. This spot over here is actually kind of a sneaky spot. It's, it's over here. We get up here and we can get up here. So it's actually kind of a power position if you can get here on, on some of these game modes. Because most people don't look here. Look. Didn't even look. Didn't even look. Didn't even look up here. Okay. It's usually a power position. Let's go right that. Come on, T. All right. What would I give rewind? I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of this map. Uh, Like I said, the, the, the overall vibe, the overall theme and layout and, you know, what would you call it? Um, I guess it's theme, a blockbuster style theme, the throwback vibe. It's cool, but I think the map layout sucks. And I think the flow of this map sucks. And for me with maps, flow is the most important. I think they could shift around the way the map plays or cut some of the edges. I don't know. I just, I wanted this map to be so good too because of my fond memories of Blockbuster, but unfortunately it's not. I'm gonna go D. I'm gonna go D. Well guys, we joined in the middle of this one, but as you can see, this is Scud and you guys are gonna think I'm the most crazy person of all time after I say my opinion on this map, but guess what? I don't care who knows it. This one for me, I legitimately, I legitimately love this map. This has got to be one of the most unpopular opinions in Black Ops 6. But you know what I like about this map? It's simple. I was asked by Treyarch to give feedback on this map and they actually listened to it, which is crazy. I, um, if you compare this to the way it looks uh, back in the beta, the saturation was very, very, it was a very, very dull map. And um, now they've really brightened it up a little bit. The, 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 you know, this itself is, looks totally different, more color and saturation. And on top of this, this little head glitch here is now wall bangable, which it was not in the beta. And pretty much if you got on this side of the map, you pretty much controlled the game. And now it's not as bad. As you can see though, he's controlling the game by on this thing. But in the beta, nobody liked this map. And, um, I don't know what it was, man. I just enjoyed it. It was crazy. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. So shout out Paul. He's one of the the, the devs at Treyarch. He uh he he reached out, DM'd me and said, "Hey man, give me some feedback on Scud." I gave him two pieces of feedback. I actually gave him one more. I actually they didn't follow this one, but I wanted to be able to walk up this, and you cannot do that. Which I wish you could have been able to because I feel like that head glitch is very tough to get to. Um from the other side, you you can only go under, and it's still like that unfortunately, but they took two of the three and I'm like, wow, a developer that actually listens to its player base. Um, just very encouraging to me for to have a good year. If they're gonna listen to us early in the beta, that's good. This will be my most unpopular opinion of this video, but I don't care who knows it. Okay, let's get one more and then we will rank it. 
I think we're playing a four on four and I think one of their guys is not playing, which is, is a tough look for Scud, man. It's a tough, it's a tough look. Oh yeah. Hold on. I'm feeling myself. For Scud. Yes! I, I don't know how this is going to make sense to a lot of people because I gotta, I gotta watch what I say here because there's, I don't know why. I love this map. I don't know how to explain it. And for some reason, I want to put it as an A. And then if I put it as an A, people are going to go, you think it's just as good as Skyline? And I'm like, yeah. But I just know how insane that sounds. But I have to say it because it's my opinion. and I'm going to stick to it. I love what they did with the map. I love the flow of it. This will be the most unpopular opinion of this video. I'm going A. I'm sorry. As Anakin Skywalker would say, now this is pod racing. This is Skyline. I'm going to say it. It's another map that was in the beta. And this, first of all, I'm, I know this map pretty well because of the beta. This is an underground tunnel, by the way. You might not know that, but now you do. And you can hit this and this door will open. And now you're on the other side. Now, of course, there's a guy not moving in his spawn because we're playing team deathmatch. But it's actually a pretty good uh, flank route if you do it properly and, they, and they're not camping. But here he is. How you, how you doing, buddy? If I decide to move, this is what happens when you move. You die. But this map is, it's pretty much Treyarch in their bag. This is like classic Treyarch. You, when you see this map, you go, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the people that made Raid, Nuketown, Firing Range. The flow is great. The little secret alleyway is, is, is amazing. And overall, just the, just the theme of the map, the overall look of it. And again, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say this and keep repeating myself, but I kind of do like look at oh my look at how simple everything is you know what i mean like when you go into a building there's not a lot of crap it's a table it's a chair and i think that's what happens especially with some of these maps i i feel like you lose you just lose like sight of people in some of these maps and it's just so frustrating to me especially when i see a map like skyline be pretty much perfect and then you're like, wait a second, how did this people, how did they make this? And then they made red card. Oh, two people. It doesn't make sense, but I want to go through this tunnel again for you. It's actually really cool. You're going to go down here. You go through this, bada bing, bada boom, under here, little tunnel vibe. And actually you can, you can do a little security if you want, you know, you know, just a little something, something. This piano is actually kind of smooth. Boom, get on the piano, get on the piano, jump up top, baby. It's just Treyarch being Treyarch, you know, little small things that make a map go a long way. I hear him blow me, right? Okay, let's get one more. Let's get a go one. Let's, <laughs> there's a bunch of bodies that are falling over here. Oh my. Oh, that's, that's good. We can end it there. Skyline, I love you. You are probably one of the best maps Treyarch, Treyarch has made in a, in a good while. This is easily A tier for me. The, the theme, the vibe, kind of got a raid vibe, honestly. And the secret layers, the secret tunnels, the piano jump spot, just little small things that make it give, give the map some character. I think this will be a map that we talk about and they bring back in, in years to come. I believe it 100%. So Skyline, you're an A. Guys, get ready. It's stakeout. And this, probably one of the smallest maps in the game. Oh my gosh. But here's the thing about this map. It's actually kind of fun. It's actually kind of fun. You are gonna see a lot, a lot, a lot of action here in the next two minutes. And um, this has gotta be smaller than Nuketown. I, I can't even go downstairs. There's a guy in my spawn. There's a guy in the map. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Where am I at here? This again is a three lane map, but you, <laughs> this is this is what I would call a, a camo grinding map. Go get some headshots, get a bunch of kills, rank your weapons up, get some XP. We're not, you're not playing this map to go a hundred. No, it, you're never, it's never gonna happen. It's actually a clean looking map too. And I like the premise of it. It's like a, it's like a bedroom slash hotel. I can't see anything, man. But I really like the side edge over here. This is kind of cool. If you, if, you know, you boom, bada bing, bada boom. And then you go bada bing. Okay, I, I, usually, I usually nail that. I usually get that. 
Oh, was that a little underground spot? I mean, just spawning with somebody looking right at me. That's that's okay. That's I I promise you I'm not trying to do that. That guy just got pooped on. My brain already hurt. I gotta get this for the video. I have to get this for the video. There we go. Now we've accomplished it. I do want to go see if that little hidey hole there is. Can I? That wasn't it, right? Where was it? On the other side of the map? Oh my goodness! See, you can really, if you get into a little dope here, if you get a couple kills in a row. The problem is trying to get a couple kills in a row. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think you guys have seen enough. This is just spam. Spam. Believe it or not, I really do enjoy this map. I really, really like it. Um, it's probably a B tier map. Get your camos done on this map. Start grinding it. Expect to have a bunch of engagements. Rank up quicker. Get your guns quicker. It's it's that that is what this map is for. Again, it's a mosh pit map. You're not expecting. You don't play this like a normal map. It, go in expecting it to be smaller. Um, I think it's a B. A lot of people have said mosh pit maps are better than the regular maps. I don't know if that's the case, but. This is a solid map. Go, 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 go. This is subsonic. Get through the middle. Get through the middle. We made it. We're probably going to die, though. Yes, we are. This map is incredibly small. It doesn't really look like it, but believe, believe me, it is. There is a, a couple spots that you can really get after it in this map, but overall, it's small. It's got a pretty good flow to it though, which is interesting because you would think it, it's it's of how small it is. But there's a couple spots that you can set up shop and, and kind of do some damage. Um, these, I guess, middle areas are closable. I don't know if this one is. Yeah, this is. This is this is in the beginning here. Um, these are all closable. So it kind of gives that dynamic effect which i've never been the biggest fan of dynamic maps i think that was why you know ghost had other problems but dynamic maps were something that they were like trying to force i feel like and it was like that is such horrible shooting but you know i think there there's a time and a place for those type of maps and again it's, it's another small map they get smaller and smaller sometimes guys but they told us ahead of time you know you were going to get small maps, boys. So enjoy. Get off the ground, brother. Come on, get me there. Get me there. Get me there. Get me there. Get me this little spot here. Because for some reason, people don't look in here. You can shut shut the door. You can sit right here. And they don't, like, think to look here. I don't know why. People run right by it. It's the... Look, they're just running right by it. So anyway, I actually... I think this is a pretty solid map, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is another pistol. That's a three-round burst. But, yeah. The moving doors creates a little different atmosphere. You got a couple spots that you can kind of get after it. Oh, mama. We got to get one more. We got to get a good one. See, again, we have this truck right here. Boom. And there's a lot of spots that you can get on. Let's go rank it. Okay, guys. Subsonic. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, Man, I... I don't know where to put some of these maps because I feel like it's really tough to rank a lot of these because it's really based on your preference as a player. So that's why I'm like, I'm ranking them based on me. Um, I like the flow. I like this, the different style of map with the, the doors closing. I like a couple power positions that you can get to. I like high intensity action. I, I'm going to put this at B. Is that crazy? It's going to be the lower tier B. It's probably almost a C, to be honest with you. Let me know in the comments, number one, what your favorite map in Black Ops 6 is. And also, what kind of Black Ops 6 content do you want to see? I'm having a little trouble figuring out what I want to do. I do have some ideas, but I would love some suggestions what you guys want to see. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one.